yeah. Because I, I, you know, anyway, so let's switch it up a little bit. Let's switch it up. We're talking about relationships. For a long time, you saw I've been uh, doing, and I haven't released my Michael Max and my Betty Shabazz. I haven't released that, those, my, my info, the stuff, my studies, my research. Uh, I plan on releasing it, but I just got to figure out when I want to. But uh, in relationships, I've, I've let you listen to some of the stuff that I was listening to and uh, let you see some of the stuff I had. And when you saw a guy like Malcolm X, he was married. And I let you hear that part about his wife. What did you think? What did, you know, and it's not okay, judging no, Malcolm no, X, but go ahead. Because I don't know. Matter of fact, because when I let you, when I let you listen to it, I really didn't say nothing to you. I just wanted you to hear, right? right. So yeah, I didn't want to. You know, I wanted to, you know, maybe get your viewpoint at one point. But the fact that his wife, according to the research or the information that I have, I'm not here to say or slander Betty Shabazz, but just according to the information that I've received, that I've come across, in my opinion, it looked like she was giving a man hell, and she said she was giving him hell. And I'm not saying she was giving him hell every day, but when a man like that stays away from home so much, even to the point, I'm thinking he couldn't have been happy at home because the day that his house was bombed, the man left his wife and kids and went to Detroit to speak, according to the research, according to the information I got. I can't see that. If, 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 if our house got bombed, you pregnant with twins, you have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and I'm assuming either a one-year-old or an infant and pregnant with twins. How would you feel about me as a man? The house just got bombed. I'm going to be every name in the book except the name is born with me. I'll be everything in every the book. Every name in the book except the name you was born with. Except the name I was born with. So you would be cussing me out. Yes, I would be cussing you out. Um. So, but, but, hold on, wait, wait. Malcolm X did it, though. Malcolm X did what? Bombed he, his own house? No, I, I didn't say he bombed his house. I said he left his wife. To go speak. To go speak. In Detroit. Right? Yeah, he went to the speaking engagement. Okay, I understand you had business in order to take care of. But, baby, our house just got bombed. What were you going to Detroit for? Then you keep your, uh, keep your ass in Detroit. That's what you do. So, do you think that, do you think, I mean, I'm not going to ask you to speak for women, but what about the women that might say he should have kept his speaking engagement? What do you think? Do you think women might feel that way? I mean, I'm, I'm just asking you to speak from a female's point of view. Do you think most females would agree with you, or do you think they would think that Malcolm should have kept his speaking engagement? We know how you feel. Yeah, because you, you, yeah. Yeah. Um. Some of them might have been like, um, you yeah, keep your eyes in the train. Some of them might have been like, yeah, no business to take care of. We went dead. You know what? Did none of us get hurt? We're still alive. We okay. Yeah, I, I want, I want y'all to weigh in on that. I want, I want, I want the viewers to weigh in. What do y'all think about that? Because often, and pretty soon I'm gonna release the the one on you know the information that I have and I've gathered about Betty Shabazz because I want to hear what you guys got to say. Um, but I brought that up because, um, like I say, even before we did the thing, you said I've changed. And in my mind, sometimes, I'm not Malcolm X, but I think I have maybe the train of thought 